Um, yeah, obviously Bangladesh battled really well today. Uh, conditions got a little bit better, if I'm honest, with a slightly uh, used ball. But I think we still are ahead. We've obviously, Bangladesh have a lead uh, and we've got three wickets more to go. So obviously if we can restrict, to them, restrict them as much as possible. Uh, but I still feel we're in the pouncing seat, uh, considering that the good work that we did with the bat in, the, in our first innings. Obviously, they take a light meter reading uh, based on the benchmark that was set on the first day. And if they see it fit that the spinners can bowl, then they offer that to you. And if it's not fit for the spinners to bowl, then we came off like what we did at the back end of the day's play. Um, yeah, look, it's nice to get a marathon spell under the belt. I love bowling. Uh, I wish I didn't give a little bit, I gave a little bit less cut balls in the start of the, of the spell, but I think I settled in quite nicely. Like I said, when the ball got a little bit older, there wasn't much reacting from the wicket, so I tried to keep it as tight as possible. No, I think yesterday was probably a day that we went a little bit searching, if I'm honest, and then we got the three wickets, and I think Mehdi and uh, Zakir Ali played really well. Uh, we threw everything at them, um, and yeah, I don't think it was a case of us taking our foot off the gas. I think they played really well, and you must take credit towards the batters in that situation. Yeah, I just sent Tamim by a message. I've got a good relationship with him, obviously playing in the BPL. And I just asked for some advice based on conditions and, you know, how to go about the business. And, you know, he gave me a few words uh, in terms of uh, how the wicket would play. And, yeah, he wasn't wrong. Or he read the wicket to the T. <laughs> um, no, not at all. I think when I first saw the wicket, it seemed very much like our Durban wicket that we play on at Kingsmead. Uh, it was quite hard. Um, obviously, there'll be variations of turn as the game goes on but I think you know with a little bit of moisture in there and the, and the constant rolling it has got a little bit better uh, especially once that shine comes off the ball um, look uh, ideally you would like to restrict Bangladesh to 100 or below but you know it's important that we start well in the morning and then assess from there oh long spells um, I think you know obviously we have a four li a four bowler lineup in our attack uh, and my job, apart from trying to create opportunity, was to hold up and in. I think this morning when I bowled in tandem with KG, uh, you know, I could see that his tail was up and got the ball to do a little bit. So, you know, my job at that stage was to try hold up and in. And then when the switch came, uh, you know, I posed a little bit more when the ball started to spin. So I think it's also as a spinner, you want to allow yourself to settle in and get those long spells on a wicket like this, knowing that, you know, there is a ball that will turn and be in your favor. And, you know, luckily enough, towards the back end and middle of my spell, I got some reward from that. Great. That concludes the first Thank you very much, everyone.